careful. <laughs> uh, but I have been at some places where they're making all kinds of chaos behind the scenes. You just never know what's going to happen in the studio. Okay, so let's catch you up on where we've been and where we're going. So we had that snow from yesterday. 9 to 10 inches of new snow for our local ski resorts. That's exciting news. Uh, where are we now, though? We're going to start to see some fog developing after kind of the calm settles in. That's right. A lack of wind is actually going to bring us some fog, plus the leftover moisture out there. Where we are seriously lacking some moisture, though, Southern California dealing with high wind warnings and red flag warnings. And you can see evidence of the dry conditions right there where you're lacking that white color. It's kind of more of a yellowish orange color. That on water vapor imagery shows us where you have extremely dry air and that is well defined right here. So they're looking at wind gusts right around LA anywhere from 50 to 65 miles per hour. And what's this? Oh, yes, we have our turkey visiting us here. <laughs> this is known as a uh, cyclone turkey. He's here to hang out and say, hey, I'm right here. I hope you enjoyed me today and I hope you enjoyed all my cousins too. Okay, so we are moving on to calm conditions right now. There you go, Portland, 48 degrees. Uh, wind is out of the southeast at just five miles per hour. And we also have our weather beacon right there at the top of the standard building showing us uh, no big change in our temperature expected. And for the most part, yes, you could say that's true. Tomorrow's high will also be similar to what we had today, right around 48 degrees. Over to Ridgefield. The Christmas tree is all lit up there in the parking lot. Looks so nice from our ALNA camera. Now over to Seaside. Uh, no serious fog developing here just yet, but we could see that change by the time we get to tomorrow morning. As a result, air stagnation advisory, not widespread, but it is in, a, in effect for Grant, Jefferson, Morrow, and Wheeler counties. So not just areas of fog, but areas of poor air quality possible. Right now we are in the good category. Same for you, Air Stagnation Advisory, um, click, uh, excuse me, Clickitat and Yakima County is included in that until 10 o'clock in the morning on Monday. So that takes you just north of Hood River over into Washington. So next chance for rain, oh, it's going to be very brief. That'll be early Saturday morning. We're talking about 3 o'clock in the morning. And then many of you possibly just getting out and about right around 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. And for the most part, we're going to see the rain has come to an end. A very fast moving front and pretty weak as well. This is 11 o'clock in the morning. Any chance of seeing showers will be closer to Eugene and Corvallis uh, for the middle of the day and also out towards Pendleton. As we get to Saturday afternoon, we're clearing things out lasting through Sunday. But then our next front comes through on Monday. Monday, more rain and mountain snow. Yes. So mountain snow for us on Monday, how low will it go? This time around, not as low as it was yesterday. So instead of at 3,000 feet, we'll keep it just above our mountain passes, likely right around 4,500 to 5,000 feet on Monday. Tuesday, we're dry. Wednesday, we're dry. Good flying weather. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. What about Friday? Friday is still dry. There you go. And then next weekend, the following weekend, we're, we're into the first week of December. A chance of rain perhaps that following Saturday. How much rain though could we see just on that very brief period Saturday morning? Uh, maybe a tenth of an inch for you both at the coast and inland. But let's add in Monday's totals and we could be looking at an additional half inch of rain for us in Portland and something closer to about six tenths of an inch for you at the coast. Speaking of the coast, temperatures tomorrow in the lower 50s, morning temperatures in the lower 40s. For us, our morning temperatures will be noticeably colder for us starting tomorrow, right around 36 degrees for you, 46 for a high. Morning fog and then afternoon sunshine and then better weather for you on the way Sunday with a high of 52 degrees. Coin 6 News, we'll be right back.